I'd like to um, kind of move us into a little bit more of a close reading the text in the songs. So there are a few, other than you know the idea of feminism, women empowerment and stuff, there's a few ideas, actual words in the song that I think are kind of manifested throughout it. Is this ladies first? Yes, yeah, ladies first. I love this song, I want to talk about it. <laughs> yes. I thought it was interesting because, and it's, I think it's the fact that I put up um, this bad ass put up, uh, but I guess it came out of the time. Because I noticed the lyrics are like very bland. Like, compared to like, not what we have today, but maybe even the 90s. And it's like, uh, I don't want to separate them, like male rap and female rap. You can't, you know why? Because why? it is, it is what it is. Right. Why not separate it? I mean, it is there. But I, I, you can really tell the difference, but I'm, I'm not gonna, and what gets emphasized, right? Yeah. Is it an issue of what gets emphasized by a female rap artist versus the male rap artist? Not even what right? they're emphasizing, just like the lyrics in general. They're like yeah. very bland compared to. Is maybe, it bland or is it. It's just like it's. Do you mean straightforward? It's, yeah, it's like. Yeah, it's very this, straightforward. I don't really see a lot of metaphors and just. Okay. I don't know. It was just like. It's just there. Well, there's it's, always it's pros, deeper meanings. Yeah. 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 So there is a lot of deeper meaning and a lot of. <laughs> A lot of terms that they use in their lyrics that you know imply multiple things. So yeah, I'm like, um, <laughs> um, I kind of like similarly. Like I kind of took this song too as like like the style and that they're doing it. Like they're taking um, like a conventional male genre and like male things that like hip hoppers will do and like making it their own and like using that as power. So like in the line, it's in the very first verse, the last two lines. Or like the last one I'll focus on. It says a sister dope enough to make you holler and scream. Mm -hmm. So like that to me was kind of like sounded sexual. And so I was saying like it's not like they're being overt and they're not like being like like in such a way that they're doing it like smartly to like use it as power. Like they're using sex as power and they're like making it like their own. Like they're like claiming it. It's not like they're like objectifying themselves. Like it's like they're kind of using what men do and then turning it and being like I'm a strong woman type of thing. And she does that again with another part. I forget though. No, I don't know if I marked it down. Yeah, but yeah. Do you think that line has a double meaning? It could be sex, yeah. it could be something else. In terms oh, of hip hop. I mean yeah. yeah. I do. Yeah. What's the other meaning you think it has? Yeah. I mean with well that I kinda of feel like it's like <coughs> like women are able to like be on the same level as men with like the same like their music is just as good as like what a male would put out. And like their hip hop is just as like if not better than like what a man would put out. Yeah. And then like make them holler and scream. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. A little yeah. line above it. So it's kind of right. Double yeah. meaning, double right. meaning. Context, yeah, exactly. subject, read right. between the lines. So it's not one thing. I think it's. Uh, <laughs> I think it's interesting because uh, I haven't heard her other songs. Mm -hmm. I may have. I don't really remember. But just a song like this with um, feminism, <laughs> women overpowering, oh, overcoming uh, struggles. She she comes up. Uh, well, she gives. I don't want to say gives birth, but she brings oh, up Nick, um, uh, Lil Kim and uh, no, no, not Lil Kim. Yeah, Lil she Kim gives uh, she brings up Missy Elliott and like and their songs are more like sexualized and more funk and stuff. Who like brings that. up? I guess uh, clearly, I like no Missy and and me, let me sit wait Missy right. and and Lil Kim they didn't come on the scene yet. Yeah. They're not into the nineties. They're not even there yet. This is like Motown. This is Moni Love. That's. She got Moni Love, Antoinette, Salt and Pepper. I mean, people you have never heard of. She's referencing those folks who are in that that, that hip hop underground movement. Mm -hmm. But Little Kim is not there yet. No, no, I thought I'm, I read. Um, uh, not in this she, song. No, no, not in this song. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm saying like uh, she. Uh, I guess Queen Latifah had something to do with the upbringing of. Um, uh, oh yeah. Of uh, Missy. But like I'm saying, all like in, their yeah. music is like completely she bring, she different. Them all in, yeah. yeah like, I do like the idea. Of, that's what I was gonna say is the idea of birth mm -hmm. in this song. That's a huge theme in it. Mm -hmm. The whole song. Um, the first time it appears is a. Uh, first of all, a woman can bury you, break you, take you. Then there's another line that says, "We are the ones that give birth to the new generation of prophets because it's ladies first. And then another reference to birth is 
there's like a mother like a daughter I would also like to mention I wish for you to bring me to um, on the sister of on the daughter of a sister who's the mother of a brother who's the daughter brother of another plus one more all four have a job to do we doing it respect due to the mother who's the root of it so what, is, what are they saying about birth not just you know physically but metaphorically Yes. Um, yeah, I noticed that too, and I thought what was kind of interesting is I thought that she was like, I think a lot of times like with family values, like a lot of um, emphasis is put on like the man being the leader of the family and like the father being like the patriarch of the family. So I think she's kind of trying to like flip that yes. so that it's like yeah. the mother, like the mother birthed all the children and like she should have more of a leading role in the family than the father. Yeah, so. that women are the root of it all, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Another interpretation of that one that I, I also could take from it was like we're the ones that give birth to the new generation get black, generation of prophets because it's ladies first. So like I took the word prophets as like prophets as in money too. So like it could also mean that like they're like the new generation of like females coming up in that industry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> but <laughs> I also think about it. I mean, yeah, that could be well, that's a good interpretation or prophets like the double thing, double meaning there too. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Um, I kind of, that line kind of stuck out to me too because I thought like, I don't know, everyone's always like, well, females, like we're the ones who give birth. Like, even just like as a teacher, I see it as like, even though I'm a female, like we're raising, even like comparing like the role of a teacher and a mother, like you're raising or like bringing forth like the new generation, whether it's girls or guys too. So like, even males who are like superior, like, they were like birthed by a woman, by a mother. It's like a lot of that stuff, like they were grown up, like mm -hmm. raised by a mother. It's so, like, yeah. And just thinking of, about, you know, all the different professions that m women have compared to men. You know, men, mm -hmm. I mean, stereotypes with that, but you know, women typically, not typically, I don't want to say that, but like a lot of women are teachers, they're um, caregivers, you know? So I guess that's one way that, um, Ladies first is also arguing, you know, or claiming that women are more, I wouldn't say more influential than men, but just as influential as men, but not just in those ways, also like in rap music and in this type of empowerment as well, right? And if we also want to talk about the Ladies First uh, music video, if you want, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that it's just a very <laughs> positive video for women, it's just a bunch of women together dancing and no one's really being objectified. Yeah, what other images are in it as well? Okay. I said a part time. Oh, um, I mean, she like blatantly shows South Africa and like footage from like up, up rises and um, like women also in those like giving kind of like thrown to them. Um, and she's kind of dressed like military in certain scenes with like the colors of the national colors, I think it was the African national colors, mm -hmm. which is like red, green, and black, I think. And um, I said like she's simultaneously talking about racism and sexism in her video mm -hmm. and um, like she's going against apartheid and like maybe even a comparing like she, I, I don't I'm not gonna say this is it but like could be interpreted as like she can compare sexism to like the level of apartheid also like it's like just as bad as like racism is like they're both forms of like extreme oppression and um, I mean, apartheid was like huge in the 80s and that's when it was like really bad and like it was violent and stuff. And so she's really making a statement against it and like putting her views out there about how it's wrong and like, yeah. I think that the first comment or the first um, image in the music video was Harriet Tubman, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. um, and then she showed, I think she showed footages from like the civil rights movement as well. Or maybe I was just getting that mixed up with the apartheid images, but um, and so I thought that was interesting. She's like pointing out the women who like made huge strides in these like big movements that we think of all the time, and really like forcing you to think about women in history. Um, 